Hello friends, this is Zofir. Today in this video, we are going to see something different, not the usual IBM or AS400 stuff. Though we work on AS400 a lot, right, uh, we spend a couple of times with Excel sheet. So today in this video, we are going to see some of the Excel tricks which will help you to, to do your uh, day to day activities easily. So let me quickly start. Okay, the first thing which I cover is um, uh, Control D. Okay, so Control D, uh, I'm not sure whether you have used it many times or not, but it will be very useful. So that will be where that will be used. Uh, that will be used to copy the formula of your uh, cell. Okay, so for example, I have uh, like one, two, three, and I have another one, two, and three. Okay, and I say I'm adding these two cells. Okay, then probably we'll do a copy and then uh, do a paste. So if you want to copy the uh, uh, formulas, but the same thing can be achieved using. Okay, if you can select the cell and then press Control D. Okay, for selecting the cells, I have used like Shift Control and then up arrow, so which will go to the uh, selection thing. Okay, so we'll use this often in our uh, video. Okay, so the uh, the next thing is actually the VLOOKUP. So most of the time, okay, uh, people are struggling with the VLOOKUP. So let's quickly have one database or the table, okay, for us to do the VLOOKUP. Okay, so I have a table here. Okay, so I have named this as a key, and this as this, these are all the values. I'll tell why. Because VLOOKUP works something like this. So we we can find a uh, value for a key from a particular selection of cells but the key should be the first column of the selection so in our case for example i have like one two four uh, ten and then five maybe these are my keys but i want to select or search for these values from this selection of uh, data so what we are going to say here it's uh, equals to v lookup equals to v lookup okay then we need to say which let me put it here Okay, we look up. So we're gonna search for this uh, value one, comma. Then it says table array. So I'm gonna say this is the table in which I'm going to look up. So obviously the value will be searched in the first column, and then I'm going to take a four. Okay, I'll tell why I'm taking a four, and then comma. Then we're gonna say which column we are expecting. So for this one, okay, maybe I want to see the result of this B column okay so this will be named as one two three four four columns so i'm going to retrieve third column value comma then give zero zero for the exact match okay so which will give me b so it says so it will be useful so if you press f2 you'll be seeing the formula with the selection things so it's saying from this uh, selection of you no know, uh, table uh, we are getting the third column uh, result as B, which is true okay, here. So now we want to do this for the, all the cells. So I'm just uh, pressing. Okay, if you press Control plus Sub arrow, it will go to the first uh, data. So I'm pressing Shift Control up, so it selects everything. Control D, it will copy the formula. You can see one, two, five is got the data, and four and ten is not having the data because there is no data for the key. Okay, maybe if I change. Uh, this 5 with 3 then automatically this updated with the, the value of y so this is how the vlookup works suppose in in some cases like you want to search with this thing but you want to retrieve uh, 1 2 3 4 on the left side then it's not possible with vlookup so the one of the ways you need to copy it and then paste it on the right side of the key value then you can search with this you can find the value of the column from the right so hope this helps so next what we are going to see is hlookup okay consider this as my data okay what we have seen earlier is as a vlookup so which looks vertically means it is looking vertically but now we are going to see hlookup which means it's looking horizontally so for this also we have a key value pair so for hlookup this will be the key and these are all the values so let's take uh, one two three four and three okay so what I'm going to say equals to h lookup and then I'm going to look up for this value comma and then I'm selecting the table take f4 oh I didn't forget to tell you what y4 I'll tell now okay comma 
then we need which row index it wants last time if you see it would have asked for the column index now we have to give the row index so for one i'm say one two three four fifth row so i want to retrieve the fifth row okay comma zero then close the bracket enter. so we got the x4 so similarly you select the things shift control d you will get the data which search for the horizontally and then it retrieves the data now let's see what is the use of uh, f4 so to demonstrate that what i'm going to do is actually um, okay take the same example 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so i'm having a formula uh, this cell plus this cell if you copy it and paste it you can see the formula is copied actually but internally if you see if you press f2 this is adding these two cells but when we are copying the cell number got incremented by one okay so this is actually default nature of the copying formula thing in excel but for our case we do not want to change the selection criteria for the next next copying suppose let's see what happens if we didn't do that so i'm going to do the uh let's look up again let's look up the same value comma so i'm selecting the field without taking f4 i'm giving comma then i want to return the fifth column comma zero so we are done so if i select this and then shift fd see you can see that for two and three we didn't get the data but we actually have that's because if you select this and press f2 you can see the selection criteria is moved to the down and for each copying it is moving down one by one okay that is the nature of copying so if here right so you have a c3 e13 and next is c10 e14 then c11 e15 so we do not we do not want to change the selection actually so for this we need to take f4 so for example here right instead of this assume i am taking uh, f4 and uh, f4 enter then if you copy and paste here i always get three because it sticks to the cell number what we have given already so hope this is the use of the taking f4 and this is the use of uh, hlookup okay and then what i'm going to cover is some of the shortcuts so if you want to move around the sheet right from sheet 1 to sheet 2 you can press control page down which goes to the sheets one by one okay and uh, next talk about filters so filters are one of the important things we do often okay so let me quickly draw the um, some table okay so this is my table so i can press my cell at, uh, at the top of the uh, row and then press shift control l which will give me the filter automatically okay so but the thing is if you press again it will remove it if i have this column next for example then if you press the same thing it search for the immediate blank cell before that it will finish the selection actually and uh, you can press actually anywhere so here i am filter you can press anywhere to remove the filter and suppose for example you have the data consecutively but you want to put filter only for these two then you need to select these two uh, no uh, let me select using keyboard yeah select these two headings and then press shift control l it will give you the filter but then next thing which i'm going to say is if you press alt and down arrow you will be seeing this drop down that will be very helpful many of the times many many of us like uh, will be putting the filter easily but for selecting they go to the mouse and select everything blah blah but here you can press alt and down arrow then you can come down space bar to select or remove whatever you can play with so this is the use of uh, filters uh, next is i'm gonna say about pivot table okay so pivot table is also one of the often usable uh, thing in the excel uh, which is kind of a group by thing which we put in the sql okay so let me quickly get some data for that okay so i have some data uh, build up so we're gonna do a pivot table for this data okay so i'm going to select the data using excel means if you have cursor uh, shift control right and down okay so then i'm going to click uh, pivot and then it's asking where to show the pivot table so either you can select existing worksheet and then give a cell or you can give a new worksheet and then click ok which will give you the pivot table okay so we got the pivot table now what to do with that so basically as i said it's kind of a group by so i'm going to say uh, the row label so i'm going to get the result of the row department 
which means totally we have this much distinct department so now uh, i want to see the number of students for each department so i can say okay, the student number or name whatever because these two are actually uh, distinct to each other simon is a student name okay comes inside so it says civil we have one student csc we have four those steps sometimes okay click on this uh, the value settings right it might be a sum not not count so you can change it so you can also do a minimum maximum product count whatever based on the nature of the uh, cell actually okay as for example if you have a mark kind of stuff then you can give it here then you can put a sum okay then in uh csc we have four student but they may have a different grade so if you want to see the grade either you can put a grade on the row so that the grade comes down okay so it split group by uh, department and grade okay and you are seeing the each grade value and if you want you can put it in a column so it comes in the column wise so you can see in csc we have uh, four student of different grades okay and one more good thing is actually if you put in row label you can double click it to see the actual content so for example column here so if you want to select this goes like this so uh, maybe i okay i want to see the csc for students but who who are all the four students if you double click it you should be able to see the result in a separate sheet so that will be also helpful if you want to see the result or the actual content of this uh, you know selections so that's it for this video and i hope got some information from this video uh i'll see you in the next video with the our usual uh, ivma steps in the future thanks for watching